Austin in the house, Cameron Zan. Cameron, who are you with? Tell us about you. I know you're this amazing stellar entrepreneur here in Las Vegas. Thank you so much, Lindsay. I'm, I'm honored that you have had me out here. Um, I'm real excited to speak. Uh, the company I work for is the Luxury Estates International. I'm the broker founder. And, um, you know, we're here locally in Las Vegas just rocking and rolling, selling a lot of high-end homes. Wonderful. Now, how did you get involved in the business? Were you inspired as a child, or how did this happen? How did this amazing idea come about for you? Uh, good question. I actually, um, I fell into this uh, by chance. It was uh, my uncle's ex-girlfriend sold me a house, and she made like $25,000 off this, this house when I was 19 years old. So I figured, man, if she can do this, I can do this. So I immediately stopped working at the job that I was at and it was actually, I was shoveling rock, planting plants. I was working for my grandfather's landscape company and um, you know, I immediately signed up for real estate school and the first year after, you know, after I passed, so I bought this $500,000 house the same time I got my real estate license and switched into it and you know, the house foreclosed and yeah. <laughs> And when I passed my test, I thought I was going to be a, a millionaire. I was literally eating, you know, noodles for breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner. It was, it, was, it was bad. But I stuck with it. You know, the first two years were, were learning. The third, fourth year were earning. And then, you know, after that, the sky was the limit. I was just, you know, kicking butt and taking names. That's incredible. I love that. Noodles. How were those noodles? You know, I, my favorite was the shrimp, the Tom Robbins <laughs> shrimp. Sometimes I would switch it up with beef. Um, but yeah, I oh had enough gosh. noodles. I had some days like those yeah. too. <laughs> well, I had a well, whole year. Oh my gosh, a year on noodles. Could y'all imagine that? <laughs> well, so how long have you been doing this for? A decade? A little bit longer than that? Yeah, about a decade now. Wow. Yeah, Ten years. So have you found your specialty? Like what, what really makes you like tick and talk with real estate? Like what's, what is your love? What's your passion? My, in the housing market? Good, thanks for asking. My passion is really the marketing. I think I'm more of a marketer first than a real estate uh, broker, but it all comes together. I'm passionate about, you know, taking a, a property and, you know, showcasing the unique features of that home and, and attracting the buyers that would be attracted to the listings that we have. For example, I know that there's going to be car enthusiasts, enthusiasts that love my, you know, 10 car garage, subterranean 10 car garage. And I know who to market to, I know how to market to and where to market to. And literally, it turns out we bring those buyers in and, you know, we end up getting multiple offers on, wow. on our listings for that. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, is this, um, is this a network that you've done just accumulating over the years? Correct. So I know, you know, we do, when, every time we take a new listing, we'll have a team meeting and we'll identify who our buyer is and, you know, what publications do they read, where do they go, where are they at, you know, how are they obtaining the property in terms of financing it or cash. So w once we identify the buyer, we'll, we'll start uh, marketing to those outlets that will be in front of that buyer. So if it's a magazine, if it's a television show, if it's, you know, the barbershop, wherever, um, we've been pr pretty successful at that. Wow, that's amazing. Now, I hear and I read somewhere or somebody told me or a little birdie flew by that you're pretty great about picking up properties and relisting them, especially for, let's just say, for uh, a buyer that has their house on the market for a really, really long time. Let's say that they have it on the market for 12 months or 13 months. You know, that this article said you, you're you're the company, you're the guy that they call, and you sell the house every time. How do you do that? Is it with your marketing strategy and your team that you have? Yeah, I've, uh, we have a, I have a director of marketing, a graphic designer, um, photographer. We have our in-house marketing team. So it's very common that we'll sell properties that other agents couldn't, and typically you know, those homes could be on the market for you know, 12 to 18 months. Um, for us, it's, you know, just, again, marketing the property in a way that attracts the buyers that are best fit for that property. And, you know, we're able to do it and find that buyer within, you know, 10, 14 days, 21 days. And typically we can get uh, the same price as if it was previous listed, if not more. Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now, let me ask you about your agents. we got to know about the agents, right? Yeah. What kind of team do you have? I mean, are they the top of the top, the best of the best? Do you seek them out, or is it just people that you meet that you just know that they have amazing potential? Yep. How does that work? So uh, Luxury States International, we, we don't recruit agents. Okay. We attract them, 
you know, the agents that come to our brokerage find us. You know, they may have, uh, they may have looked at some of our publications, some of our, our marketing pieces, and read up about us, and they said, hey, you know, this company stands for what I stand. They believe in what I believe in, and that's the people we come in. I couldn't see myself going anywhere but this company. Um, and it's kind of, you know, I guess it would be like, you know, if I was going to sell cars, would I work at Rolls Royce or would I work at, you know, Honda? I'd probably work at Rolls Royce just because their their values and who they are align with who I am. You know, everything I do in terms of when I list a property, it has to be the best of the best. It has to have every detail, you know, it has to be thought out, and we need to take it to the next level. So, you know, I feel we've attracted the agents that are, we just like to say, on brand. Right. And, um just like we attract our, our clients, our sellers. They get our stuff in the mail, they're like, man, this is, my house is done so well, and I know that because their marketing pieces are so well, they can market our properties you know, with as much thought as we put into our house. Well, I know that because I received that flyer in the mail. <laughs> I sure did, and I was just so impressed because it didn't, it didn't only come in once, it came in twice, and then I was in Texas, and it came in a mailbox in Texas, and I thought, man, this is the guy, this is the team to list our property with if we ever do decide to do that, and I was so impressed, and then on top of that, y'all, I mean, do you see how handsome this guy's dressed? Like, stand up and show them your suit. Like, this guy is tenacious and stylish. I mean, what are you wearing? Like, we're on the red carpet. What are you wearing?